in terms of doing a part-time PhD um, or are you would you say it's very individual you don't need that kind of that kind of structures in, in Germany I would personally say it's very individual I, I don't know what do you think uh, my, my feeling my <laughs> feeling is that compared to Britain where you're very you would you would sign up for a part-time or a full-time that's not how how it works in Germany but I don't no, know if Barbara it's, may be it's definitely yeah, sorry, it's definitely more common in the UK than in the Germany, to, especially to do part-time PhDs. I've not heard of anyone who's done that so far. Mm. I can only agree. In our graduate school, we only have one person. She is a mathematician, and um, she can afford, actually, since she, she's only working on the computer, basically, to do a part-time job at the side. But apart from that, the question is, do you really need a part-time job? If you get enough money, which usually most people do, you don't need another job. Yeah. 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 So I, I also think, um, in part, that you know that situation sometimes um, of uh, of having a job on the side and financing um, a PhD for us in the life sciences is is very very uncommon because the the experimental part. Yeah. You are, for a PhD, you know, there's the part of doing research, and then there's the part of writing a thesis and publications and uh, and and those parts that uh, that add up. And in some disciplines, you can split that. You can, uh, you know, you can do your research part. You can do that on the side. Type. It could take like, you know, ten years if you wanted. Uh, and and in that case, of course, you need a job on, you know, or a, a way of financing. And there will not be stipends or anything to to finance. So. Um, so that kind of, of PhD and this is the whole process with now having structured graduate uh, schools the the main aim is of course also to reduce that time to say like well um, a PhD will be on average three three and a half years yeah um, and that's of course a different from different from ten years um, and uh, and, and then it will happen in very exceptional cases um, that there is still a like phase you know when you the experimental part can definitely be done like in three years uh, but in the writing up part sometimes due to um, circumstances there can be you know children you know uh, during your, your PhD there can be a situation that you actually move to a different place and you weren't completely finished yet with writing up it could be that you actually find the job of your dreams and your PhD is not completely finished yet uh, and that I think is a different thing that can happen that you actually start on a job and then finally still write up uh, submit your thesis defend it uh, while you're already in the next uh, next position so to say actually I have to add that graded programs do often um, offer something like a safety net especially in such situations when the fellowship has run out and you're still not finished um, that the uh, graded programs like ours um, tell the PIs uh, you have to finance this the student until she or he actually finishes with a PhD um, that is actually something that often works and if you have an individual PI without a graded sc uh, school behind you um, then you should ask right when you start uh, what happens actually at the end uh, will there be enough money for me to, to finish the whole thing? Uh, if, for example, you get a two years contract for the beginning only, how will it go on? Very often this is the case, and the, uh, the, the laboratories have enough money to, to finance you, but you should actually simply ask. Yeah, I think that, that, is, that is an excellent advice, particularly in a system that is as individual as, as, as the German the German is. I'll just, before we move out of the application phase, because we haven't entered the lab in Germany yet, <laughs> a, a one more link that, that can be useful. The European Commission has a link where they would like all research jobs, including PhDs, to be to be advertised. It's called the Euro Access, and, and I, I think that will come on the, on the blog on the site as well, that, that link. That, that will be useful as well. 